Return of a Legend, Episode 9, at the Card Hunters headquarters at 10.30 in the morning. That's always good. I wonder what legend this could be. Probably one from Yu-Gi-Oh! Chronicles. I mean, everyone loves that the best for some reason. Master Hyperion's destroyed. Ally of Justice decisive of Armor. Anything else? Tyrant Dragon. There's no time you're ripping off Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed. LOL. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was dueling against card hunters. Not a bunch of brain dead chimpanzees. You'd be surprised. If anybody, you only have yourselves to blame. After all, it was your mistake setting up headquarters in my territory. Wait. Killed the other two, but I'm still here. That'll be fixed. I'll, I'll get you back. No, you won't. This. Mark my words. <laughs> Funny. It's already obvious that you failed in your mission just to take me out. <laughs> I think I'd like to have a word with your leader. Hmm. No, not our leader. He's not ready <laughs> yet. And even when you get to him, he's not that it's what, worth it. There's a duelist going around by the name of Mr. A, also known as Tom. He sounds like he's, Filthy Frank with this voice. You might be able to get your quench of a worthy challenge. He has an Egyptian god card, Obelisk. I don't recall going by Mr. A, but I could be wrong. Up. You should go to him if that's what you really want. <sighs> but you can't go after our leader. <sighs> Why not? Why wouldn't I just go after him anyway and say, fuck you? You don't really care about me quenching my thirst for a worthy challenge. I'm not satisfied. Okay, Callan Kessler, calm down. Then again, a duelist who has an Egyptian god card is too. Or Kyrie in the sub. I'll let you punks go. But I'll be back for you. I wonder who the legend can be. Someone fell asleep. You know, it's dark. It's kind of hard to recognize anything. Except sound, of course. And with one look of the hair, anyone with a brain can instantly recognize him. It is Sasha Banks. What? Yes, the crossover you all demanded. I do like this effect where it looks like he's on an elevator. It's actually a pretty good use of practical effects. Yep, that's right, everyone. Prez is back! Long time no see, and I mean that in more ways than one. Mainly the fact that it took two years for... Nearly three years for freaking Excalibur episode 39 to come out. I'd probably take more than that for episode 40 to come out. Then again, apparently this is what Prez was doing in the meantime, so... I can't really blame him for caring about his other series, that you know, his sub-series and stuff like that. You know. I mean, yeah, he's still been caring about his own child and Excalibur a bit more, but... You can't really blame him for caring about his other kids as well in the form of, like, project games and stuff like that. I mean, I know they're not his kids and stuff like that, they're just like, you know... You guys get what I'm trying to say with this. They are spin-offs and sort of attached to him in some regard, you know? I don't know. I just make stuff up as I go. <laughs> but hey, we got a returning character at long last! Brez Kamori's back in business! So, yay! <laughs> it's so much better to see it now, nowadays, now that the fact that Fred actually is back, as opposed to back then when it was salt inducing. I'm just like, where are you? Thinking, who am I to judge? I can be gone at months at times.
So yeah, let's get in Project Games, Return of a Legend, and by legend we mean Prez, doy, he's only on the fucking cover of the title episode. And if you look at the playlist, he is the freaking face of it, even yeah. before Tom. Shadow Games can wear a guy out. Project Games, we use freaking Prez as a cover picture over our own main hey, character. I know. There is another tournament at and no, you can't count episode hey, one, be there. episode one of season two, because there's only one episode in season two. And I don't know about Mechanical Mayhem. Hi, Prez. Still with this stupid pink hair. Sasha Banks would be proud. So, and anyone crazy. who doesn't know what Sasha Banks is, is immediately looking her up. Or just assume I'm talking nonsense. I don't know. Ludicrous weather. But it seems nice enough now. Gangway! Wait, what the- oh. 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 I need to watch No shit. Oh. What the hell, kid? Can't you watch where you're Careful, going? Careful, President, that kind of attire. Israel might be offended by you. Hey, you're Press Kamari. According to Grace Royal Rumble, legend. WWE showed a trailer of a women's a match. Against it's, it's, it's the women don't wear, that, wear rather right, scantily clad clothing. Hang in wrestling. Well, Israel got in a tirade. Because God are... forbid we have any balls. <sighs> Oi. I'm Tom. Tom Elkman. I know that there are religious things, well, but there are also parts who are just like, oh god, women have bodies? Oily. Really? Oh, who am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing? I'm ruining the crossover by just like talking about this shit. Of them. Why the quality go to shit? I already beat them in the shadow game all at the same time, so you don't have to I sure hope some other guy doesn't rip off wow. this idea years He's later with this bandmate series. Time. No, I'm kidding. Incredible. Yeah, well, after Otherwise, this one guy who uses a star like to cyber dragon as his freaking in cover up thumbnail will be very part. offended. Oh wait, I'll no, I'm kidding. Exact. Have any idea where I can find that person? You're looking at him. Yeah, I'm right oh, here. Really? So you're the duelist that took on. How convenient that I literally run into handed him, handed or rather, he ran into me. But you know what I mean. Yeah, although it does become a pain when these guys challenge me over and over again. Why's that? Apparently one shadow duel is not enough for them. So you mean that these card hunters, they come back even after losing a shadow game? Yeah. One I wonder if you know anything boss, about that. Which recently I discovered that their name is Ravano. Turns out they can just go into some sort of reformation machine, so whenever they, they die, they just go through this That's little machine and come right back. Quite familiar. So yeah, I'm familiar with shadow duels. Heck. They constantly come back. Oh, so they're a horror movie villain. Got it. <laughs> this will be the last movie for certain. Does well at the box stressful. office. Never mind. One more. So yeah, I've been trying to find some. Oh, this will be the last movie for sure. Or we're starting a new part. series for sure. Doesn't do well at the box office. One more try. Park, and I won't be able to duel him Oi. tomorrow. There's no way I can wait till then. Well, it's a good thing that I'm looking for you stop then, because if you're so good, we haven't had a Halloween or the Friday the 13th in a long ass time. Just to see how strong you are to make these card hunters go so uneasy. So yeah. So, a duelist of legend is challenging me to a duel. Well, I accept. But you know what? Let's just duel right here because I'm afraid if we duel out in the public, it might give us some unwanted attention. Fair enough. Now get ready to get your game on. Woo! All right, let's duel. Legacy duel everyone's been begging for. Let's be sure to let I'll them down. No, I'm started. kidding. And I draw. I'll start off by setting this monster face down defense mode. No more. Okay. Nuts. Now let's see what you got. All right then. I draw. First of all, I'm going to summon my eight fire to the field in attack mode. Now then, let's see what's under that holographic card. Eight fighter, attack. Let's see. Well, my face down defense monster was a misty tomato. And when it's destroyed by battle, I can search up through my deck. Ah, the quality got better. A new dark monster to take its place as long as it has 1,500 or less attack points. So to Another mystic tomato. I'll summon legendary no. fiend in attack mode. Hello. Well, it just so happens my ape fighter has an ability of its own. You see, when it destroys a monster by battle, it gains 300 attack points. Now then, I'll set two cards face down. Careful, Prez, this guy loves his back row. Alright, not a bad move. 
Preza summons spam, while meanwhile Tom is now, set before spam. Ending, during my standby phase, legendary fiend special ability activates. During my standby phase, it gains 700 more attack points. Not that it matters though. So, our monsters have the same. They're not gonna be points? fighting. That would certainly make for an intense battle. Not well, they destroy each other. Too bad that won't be possible. Because in my head, I have something else that'll put your ape back into the zoo. I summon Plague Spreader Zombie in attack mode. Synchro Shokan. Got a horse leg. I never realized that before. It may seem weak, only stating at 400 attack points, but looks are deceiving because Plague Spreader Zombie is a tuner monster. Wait. Six plus two. You're going for one of your single Tom synchro. Tom struggles at math. Exactly right. Specifically for one of my favorite monsters. Now I tune my level two Plague Spreader Zombie with my Thought level six legendary feet to Synchro Summit. Thought Ruler Arch. How do you get in the graveyard? Hello. If that monster destroys my ape fighter, you'll gain quite a bit of life points. No shit. Looks like you've done your homework on my cards. And if so, you should know what comes up next. Thought Ruler Archfeed, clean out his ape fighter. Trying to abuse my ape, are oh we? Oh my. Well, we can't have that, can we? I activate Pro my animal trap, rights. Intangible attack. Now, my monster's safe from your attack. Fortunately, I still take the so damage. invincible to battle oh. destruction thing, you know. Damn it. Whatever, that is the first scratch, though. You got Quasar on the dual disc? Come out with your remaining life points. I'll end my turn by placing this card face down. You can't tell like Axel, I can't recognize that synchro. My turn. All right. I saw in my Tosuke Knight to the field in oh attack boy. mode. And now, with two level fours, I can Xyz summon. Xyz summon? What the hell is that? Allow me to be the first to show you. I have Back in the time, it might have been somewhat new, but pendulum's lengths would beg to differ. No, it's new to Prez, so, you know, make of that what you will. I think this is one of the few times Tom exceeds summons without using Mystical Elf and Gawain. Ace Monster, everyone. Ace Monster is someone else, but... So that's an Xyz summon. Impressive. Yeah, I went to a black hole and everything. Remember, I can't say that it's a game-changing card. Considering that it's 2,500 doesn't stand up as a match for my arch feet. Perhaps, but this monster's current form isn't my ace card. You see, some Xyz monsters have the ability to involve in stronger versions of themselves. What? There's another level of Xyz There's summoning? a rank up. Okay. Rum, the seventh one. Well, then let's see if you can take this chance. I love how Magic gets a, get a massive hissy bit about oh, Yu-Gi-Oh using Magic the cards, but yet we can have Rank Up wild. Magic cards. Now I activate my Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos I spell guess it gets, card. I guess it gets around the ruling. So now I can Chaos Evolve Utopia into Utopia Ray-V! Then again, Rank Up Spell doesn't sound as good. <laughs> Big deal. Only 100 points stronger. 100 points stronger and a pretty sweet special ability. You see, once per turn, I can detach a material from this monster to destroy a monster on your field. And since your Thought Ruler Archfiend is the only monster on your field, your Thought Ruler Archfiend will be the target of my monster's effect. How rude. My Archfiend isn't going anywhere. I'll activate my counter trap card, Dark Illusion. This card will negate any effect that targets a dark type monster on my field, like my Thought Ruler Archfiend. And then it destroys it right away. Say goodnight, Utopia! <laughs> Dang. I should expect you had something up your sleeve. But I'm not unprepared. You see, my Utopia Ray V has another special ability. When it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I can place Utopia right back in my extra deck. Now summon it again. I never said that I was done, though, because I don't like to leave my moves unfinished. You see, I'll activate an effect in my hand. I can activate this effect whenever I activate a counter trap. Oh boy. And I can sacrifice a face up dark type monster on my field. Such as dark my volcanus. And when I do this, I can summon a monster of true rarity. A dark counterpart. Oh boy. A dark counterpart. Which one are you talking about? All of them. The only ones I know of is Dark Arm Dragon and the Dark Theater. The latter of which I have no version of. 
And near as I'm being summoned by the way he describes, one monster doesn't be planning to leap upon me. So I guess you know about the dark counterparts then. <laughs> really, really rare. Nine of them to be exact, and I just so happen to have all nine. And then he ripped up the tenth now one because he's a dick. To see one in live action. I special summon Dark Voltanics! Because I got there were only four blue eyes in existence and Tokaiba came along and ripped up one of them. And when I special summon Dark Voltanics this way, I can destroy one card on the field. Your face down card is a sitting duck. Don't. Wow, that is good. I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. Alright, my turn again. All right, Tom, hopefully my last move didn't put you too far out of commission. Now, first off, by sending Dark Lord Serato, another Dark counterpart, from my hand to the graveyard, I can special summon from my hand, Dark Greffer. And now by sacrificing my Dark Greffer, I can summon my third counterpart to the field, Dark General Free. These two monsters put together, it's just enough to put the nail in the coffin. Dark General Freed and Dark Voltanus attack Tom Mirror directly! Force. Nice try, Prez. Since I have no cards in my hand when you declare an attack, I can special summon my Tosuke oh, yeah, that the thing. graveyard in order to end the battle phase. Neither of them's taking any damage so far. <laughs> Not bad, Tom. Seriously thought I had you there for a second, but... I'll end my turn. All right, time to kick things up a notch. Sweet! I know I'll saw my ninja grandmaster Sasuke. Can I make you. Utopia again? Big deal. Your ninja doesn't stand up to either of my monsters. True, but in case you haven't noticed, he's another level four monster. Wait, two level four monsters? That means you can exceed summon again. Is it that Utopia thing again? Not quite. While both of these monsters are level 4, I have another Xyz that requires two same level monsters of the same type. Ah. Can you guess which type I'm referring to? Heroic Champion Excalibur. So I'm seeing this deck, but I'm not slacking off my observations. It's obviously a warrior type. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. Now to go into I a dragon deck monster. What? Z summon. Comics Hero King Arthur. Bad. I can see why you decided to change things up. Yeah, I'm gonna attack your Dark General Freed with my Comic CEO King Arthur. So now we lose life points. Barely a scratch. Not even a Well, actually, yeah, like a scratch. Cards what am I I'll end it there. You're gonna pay for destroying my Freed. You freed and him. It's not every day that you get to destroy one. You should feel honored. Don't worry, I don't. Suppose you're right. Your deck has already given me a few unpleasant surprises. Yeah, well, back in the Excalibur days, these dark counterparts just gave me enough to do the job. Even though Ra Excalibur isn't but done yet. And your I'm sure this is going to get freaking ran out. Dark Boltanis, destroy comics, King the plot holes. I guess I was wrong about there not being any damage yet. My bad. This time around. Forgot about the whole uh, Thought Ruler Arch beam. My bad. I can simply detach material to cause three things to happen. One, my monster is not destroyed by battle. Secondly, my monster gains 500 attack points. And finally, you take 500 points of damage. Damn it! Ugh. Whatever. The I'll sacrifice of using a giant germ, bad. my friend. Not bad. I'll place this card face down. My turn. Sometimes you just gotta take the extra damage right. in order to get a victory. Right. I'll set a monster face down. Then I'll have my Kaosu from Arthur attack your Nona while your dark counterpart. <laughs> Thank you for that. Since you just destroyed my new dark counterpart, yeah. I'll like to make a quick play spell card. A deal with dark. Oh boy. 
I can only activate this quick play spell card when level 8 or higher monster on my field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. This allows me to summon a monster unlike anything you've seen before. I summon from my hand, Berserk Dragon! Hello. To be continued. Okay. See you on the next part. Bye.